In this video, I would like to review with you our formula-driven lattices, which are part of a family of geometries called triply periodic minimal surfaces. Here I'm editing an existing formula-driven lattice. You can see the gyroid lattice cell, which is one of the three options, along with primitive and diamond, which also I'm showing on the screen. We have also other control, that is the resolution of the formula-based cells, which goes from low to very high. This resolution is linked to the accuracy of the model. If I choose medium resolution, it will be faster to calculate. This is good when I'm designing my lattice. Take it as a mock-up tool if you want. For example, here, I will show how to define variability on the lattice using these cell types. I selected medium. In this case, I selected the flat surface in the top of the part as my reference. Setting the distance to 1 measured from such reference and in the direction of the blue arrow. Let's change the wall thickness to 0.5, which you should compare against the 0 0.061 originally defined as wall thickness. Here you will see the effect of adding variable wall thickness. As an additional note, what are the advantages of formula driven lattices? High stiffness and low maximum bond miss stress compared to other cell types. Is good for lightweight components possess axisymmetric stiffness, is good for applications where the exact nature of loads are not fully known, and when oriented correctly does not require support structures when printed. In this video we reviewed the formula driven lattices and how to add variability to such lattice types. Thank you.